Welcome to Measurement Computing's Daisy Lab demonstration. In this short video, I will show you how to acquire data, display it to the screen, and store it into a file using four simple function blocks. Daisy Lab is an application development environment that requires no programming. All I have to do is select a function, drag it to the work area, connect the function blocks, and run the measurement. Select the measurement computing USB 2416 from the module browser. Right click to open its properties. Change the sample rate to 10 samples per second. And name the channel. The current channel value is displayed at the bottom of the dialog box. To display the acquired data, I'll add a digital meter from the display group to the work area. Select the module and place it onto the work area. Connect the output of the analog input to the input of the meter. The line is a virtual wire representing the data flow in the worksheet. Now add a chart recorder to the work area, drag it and drop it, branch the existing wire to the input of the chart recorder, right click on the chart recorder to open the module properties. The recorder is a graph display and allows me to configure both the X and the Y axis scaling. Click on the X scaling button. Change the display range from 60 seconds to one day. Click OK. Click on the Y scaling button. This is a temperature value. I'll change the range to ambient temperature from 50 degrees Fahrenheit to 100 degrees Fahrenheit. Click OK. Finally, add a write data module from the files group. Branch the wire to the input of the module. Right click to open its module properties. I want to store data so that another program, such as Excel, can read it. Choose ASCII text from the format list. ASCII is readable text well suited to this measurement task. Click on the Options button. Change the data format separator to Tab. Change the time format from elapsed time to the actual date and time. Click OK. Click the File button to give it a file name, and then click Open. Select the Append to Existing File setting to create one file, and then click OK. Before starting the measurement, restore the display windows from the bottom of the screen and arrange them on the work area. Click the Start button to start the measurement. Live data is now being displayed in the digital meter and in the chart recorder. But look at the chart recorder display. I can't see the data very well. It's over here on the right, but the one day scale will take a while to fill up. I can zoom in on the data to see a smaller period of time. I can zoom in again. I can use the scroll bar at the bottom to move around the data. I can zoom more closely, or when I'm done, I can zoom back out to see the whole period of time. At this point, I have a working application that collects, displays, and stores data. Stop the measurement. Save this worksheet. Thank you for watching the short overview of the Daisy Lab software. For more information, and to download an evaluation version of the software, go to www.mccdaq.com.